schools closing, businesses struggling. The COVID-19 pandemic has not only rapidly spread, but has altered life as we know it. For everyone, quarantine life is temporarily considered the new normal, as students and employees are being forced out of schools and workplaces and are now having to navigate the world of online working. For some, this may not seem like that drastic of a change, but for others, this unforeseen turn of events has been more difficult to navigate than previously expected. And according to a study by Blind, 53% of employees has said their productivity has been impacted by changes in their mental health. And while students think that they are receiving the short end of the stick, they fail to realize the implications that remote working has on employees who have vital equipment at their workplaces that they are no longer able to have access to. Andy Schaefer, an employee at Half Associates, has recently made the transition to remote working like the majority of his company and companies across the nation. It took a while to get used to, but I like it now. Working as a supervisor in the surveying department of his company, Andy has faced many challenges associated with remote working. Because you're on the phone a lot, email, uh, video conferencing, so you just gotta keep constantly in touch with the people you work with. While keeping in touch is extremely important given the current circumstances, for many employees, the hardest part is not having access to the necessary equipment that so many use on a daily basis to complete tasks and projects. Big plotters that print out full-size sheets too big to print on your home printer. Learning to adapt and overcome the obstacles of remote working is something that students and employees alike are having to deal with and work through together. What I do is either go to the office and make a full-size print or I'll just use like PDFs and look at it on my computer. Another struggle with remote working is that distractions are easy to come by when working from home. Dogs barking, kids yelling, TV blaring. Any minor inconvenience can drag you away from your work and keeping on task is no easy feat. And trying to maintain a schedule when you can leave your workspace and stroll into the kitchen or any other part of the house a minute later can be a dangerous game to play when there are deadlines that are required to be met. And schedules still have to be met. So that's, that's a challenge is because you're there home alone and nobody is pushing you. You gotta push yourself. So Schools and businesses are still doing their best to try and make remote working easier by quickly enabling remote access and students are finally beginning to realize that the adults in their lives are struggling just as much as they are with this strange turn of events leading to remote work from home. So, the next time you want to complain about how much you hate your online classes that only last until the start of May, just remember that this pandemic could carry on much longer than we realize, and for the adults in our lives, that means longer time having to work from home. So be kind, be courteous, and remember that everyone is having to adjust to something new.